This is Tanya Garcia, editor of PR Newser, and I am here with Michael Levine, the founder of LCO, Levine Communications Office. Thanks so much for taking some time out. Thank you. Uh, so today we are going to talk a little bit about um, some of your uh, background in um, entertainment All right. PR. So um, you're, you started out over 25 years ago, more Indeed. than 25 years ago. Indeed, so, June 1st, 1983. So um, maybe you can talk a bit about the biggest um, change, transformation, whether it's with the celebrities themselves or with the um, entertainment PR landscape that you're dealing with. Well, I think that technology's had the biggest imprint. The world has just changed so much. The metabolism rate, as I mentioned earlier, is, is quickened radically, so it's a, it's a somewhat different world. Now, is it a more crowded field in terms of the uh, entertainment uh, PR firms that are out there? I don't know if it's more crowded field. There are many, many more media outlets, and there are a lot of people who maybe in part due to the writing. I wrote a book 17 years ago called Guerrilla PR, and Guerrilla PR went on to become the most widely used introduction to PR in the world. And it's a book that told people that they can do many of the things that professional publicists do for free. What is the difference between entertainment PR on each coast? Well, you know, I think that Hollywood is a company town and so that so much of every conversation in LA revolves around the entertainment industry. In New York, I think you have more components to finance fashion. Uh, you've represented uh, 58 Academy Award winners among Indeed. all of your clients. Indeed. Can you uh, talk a little bit about who your most interesting client was and why? One that almost always seems to be the most interesting is the one that I'm working on at the time. But I've worked with a lot of legendary figures. I mean, I represented Charlton Heston for 20 years. And a lot of people <laughs> today don't know who Charlton Heston is nearly to the degree they should, but he was an iconic American figure. Somebody said if there were a Mount Rushmore for Hollywood, he'd be on it. And then, of course, I represented the great film producer Robert Evans. Those are iconic figures and interesting figures, and they're original in their own way. For those who are just starting out in entertainment PR, what would be some of your top three tips for uh, their careers? Well, the number one tip I offer to people is to intern. You put your career on steroids if you, um, if you do an internship and you get an, an opportunity to see it and feel it and touch it in a real and visceral and palpable way. And the other thing is um, become what I like to affectionately call a media slut. A media slut is somebody who's really engaged with the media. And so when they're in their car, they're listening to all news radio or talk radio. And when they're at home, they've got CNN or Fox News on in the background. And instead of listening to rock and roll all the time, they've got the news on and they're paying attention to the news. I think if you want to be involved in the media in a real and significant way, and you're not screwing around, become a media slut and get engaged, read a daily newspaper. And also, I'm very concerned um, about this curse of distraction, and I'm worried about it. I'm worried about the cost of being so distracted when you're doing three or four things, right, at the same time, if you're texting or talking or drinking a soda or any number of energy drink, so forth. Your mind isn't able to focus on the bigger ideas, the more important and significant ideas. Well, th thank you very much. Uh, those are tips to take to heart. Uh, again, this is uh, Michael Levine, the founder of LCO. I'm Tanya Garcia, editor of PR Newser, and this has been Media Beat with Media Beat. Thanks so much.